Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video I am going to demonstrate the new advanced front-end editing interface that's coming with TYPO3 version 4.3. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it because two reasons really. I think it looks really great, and also I think it's going to be uh, more intuitive and more helpful to editors of websites. Uh, TYPO3 4.3 is currently in beta mode. It's in beta 1 with the estimated launch date for the final product of the end of November. So without further ado, let's look at this interface. We're actually already logged into it. Um, we're already in the front-end editing interface. If you have used front-end editing in TYPO3 before, or you've seen this video here, website editing with TYPO3 in the front-end, uh, the first thing you notice is there's no pencils on the page. Normally, logged in, you would see pencils underneath the different content elements. That's very helpful and very handy. At the same time, sometimes it causes issues because they actually take space and they can push the uh, the layout out of place, they can push items around, and I've had the odd uh, concerned call from a client because their page doesn't look right, and then they realize, oh no, it's because I'm logged in. Um, however, what we do have is this edit page button in the top right corner, and if I click this button, some things are going to happen. So, a toolbar has appeared across the top of the page, and we see some dashed borders appearing on the page as well. Let me just shoot across here for a second. So in this toolbar at the top, we have page properties. And if I were to click on that, I could change the name of the page, make it a hidden page, change its metadata, its description tags, that kind of thing. Or I can create a new page, add a new page to the site right there. Um, and then we also have things that we can add to this page, regular text elements, text with images, uh, site maps, all kinds of things we can add on the page. We won't do them right now, but the way they're done actually is you actually drag them and stick them on the page where you want them to appear. See all the drop content boxes that have shown up? Those are before and in between and after the other content elements on the page. I'm not going to do that right now, so I just let go and they've disappeared. If I move my mouse over one of these things that maybe I want to edit, you'll see that focus is drawn to it. It's got a different color and a little toolbar has appeared across the top. And that happens on all the different content elements on the page. Now we have the same tools we had before, edit, new item, hide, delete, or move down, or in the case of another one, move up. Um, and in fact, if I click the down button, it'll actually instantly push that down. And there we go, it's now the second item on the page. If I don't want to use the buttons, I can actually use this, and you can actually drag and drop these items and move them around that way. Uh, ah, we've got a little shadow showing up. That's, uh, that's part of the beta process. That will not be there, of course, when this uh, product goes live. So. There you have it. There's the quick overview of front-end editing, the advanced front-end editing that's coming with TYPO3 4.3. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please use the feedback form on our website here. This is uh, www.thedemo.ca. Thank you.